Mike's homesteading tip number 47. If you're growing organic vegetables, make sure you wash them. Do you know what they put on those things? <laughs> That's my homesteading tip for today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara. <laughs> what are you doing? You said if I said something, it would take too long. <laughs> So we're doing some short videos with the Homestead Network on five tips for homesteaders. Whoops, I said that wrong. Five tips, five homesteading tips for beginners. Did I say that right? Yeah, but you're taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> so these are just a few short videos, and we're going to put one out each day along with our other homesteaders that we're collaborating with. Please look in the description in the bottom below, in the description. <laughs> Please look in the description we need to start below. No, we're going to keep going. Okay. Please look in the description below for all the homesteaders that are joining us in this collaboration. We've got some really good stuff. <laughs> we've got some really good ones. Okay, we've only got five minutes. So, our tip, first day one, is get all your debt paid off before you decide to buy your homestead. Do you think that's a good idea? Yep. Are you seriously not going to say anything this whole time? Nope. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> so homesteading is not easy and it's not cheap. If you go want to go buy your land or rent your land, whatever you're doing, you need to have every single bill check marked off that you can. You don't want to have car payments, you don't want student loans, you don't want house payments. And I would go so far as to say if you and your husband or wife are both working, I would even say try to save up enough cash to buy your homestead with cash if you can. Because so many of the homesteaders we know aren't really working full time while they're doing it, right? They're not, yeah. And, and you're what, not going to want to have to be paying off debt when you don't have as much income. Exactly. Or, so I would take a year or two if both of you are working and really focus on that debt. Get it paid off first. Be done with it. Then you're not going to have that hanging over your head when you're trying to chase the cows down the street to keep them from eating the neighbor's corn. <laughs> or when there's a flood and you're trying to get your pigs and save them from washing away like Big Bear Homestead did. <laughs> so anyway, that's our tip for... The beginner homesteader is to get all your debt paid off right away before you even start. Don't carry it into your homesteading and it will be a whole lot more pleasant for you. Yep. So check the description below. Please go check out the other homesteaders and we will see you tomorrow with our tip number two. Good night. <laughs>